Let's dive into getting a bit more familiar with Polydust. This is a scene view. Let's start our journey from explaining a bit the interface of Polydust. Probably first you would like to create something. So to do that, tap the top right arrow and choose to add a box. And in the middle you will see a box and probably you will see three arrows. Those arrows represent a move gizmo. There are three gizmos in 3D World. The move gizmo, the rotation gizmo and the scale gizmo. To switch between the gizmos you tap the bottom left buttons. So first let's dive into talking about the move gizmo. The move gizmo allows you to move the object around in three axes. The red axis, which is the X axis. You move the object by dragging on this axis. The green axis, which is the Y axis. And the Z axis, which is the blue axis. If we want to undo our changes, we can tap the top left arrow. And let's talk now about the rotation gizmo. Rotation gizmo, the same as the move gizmo, has three axes. The red axis, which is the X rotation. Let's undo. The green axis, which is the Y axis. It allows you to rotate the object in the Y axis. And the green, the blue axis, which allows you to rotate the objects in the Z axis. The rotation gizmo also has more possibilities. So if you rotate in the middle between all those axes, you have a free rotation possibility. Let's undo it. And when you rotate by using the outside axis, you rotate the object by the axis that is perpendicular to the camera facing the object. Okay, let's now talk about scaling the object. We can scale the same as rotate in three axes, the X axis, which is the red axis, the Y axis, which is the green axis, and the Z axis, which is the blue axis. The scale gizmo also allows you to scale the entire object by dragging from the middle box. Okay, we learned how to move, rotate and scale the object. Now let's talk about how to orbit around our scene. We use in Polydust three basic gestures. The first one is the rotation gesture. You do it by dragging the camera with two fingers. You can see. If you want to zoom in or out, you use the pinch gesture. And if you want to pan the camera, you use three fingers, left, right, down. That way you can navigate through the scene. I advise you to play a bit with those gestures. Because knowing it well helps you improve your workflow dramatically in the future. Okay. That's all for the first lesson and in the second lesson we will learn how to create the actual first model as tool.